Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna talk and let's just start it. According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake, a, shake it up a little. Very breakfast is ready. Ooming. Wait, ooming? Oh, that's coming. Hang on a second. Hello, Barry, Adam. Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your, your father paid good money for you. Those. Sorry, I'm excited. This is a graduate. We're very proud of you. A perfect court card. All bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lit on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave dust. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day. Graduating. Graduating. Never thought I'd make it. Three days of grade school. Three days of high school. Those were awkward. Three days of college. I'm glad I took a day oh, and hitchhiked around your life. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Already growing a mustache. Looks good. You're both Frankie. Yeah. You want this funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows you sting someone you die. You don't waste it on a squirrel. You're such a hothead. I guess you could have gotten out of the way. I left this, in this incorporating an amusement park and out into our day. I guess that's why they say we don't need vacation. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are B men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, for faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome to New New Hive City, graduating class of 915. That, and that concludes our ceremonies. And begins your career at Hotex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I urge this orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and tails inside the train at all times. Spanish words. I wonder what it will be like. A little scary. Uh, welcome to Honex, a division of Honesco, and a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow, wow. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, so ingested and bubble contoured into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive yellow and glo golden glow as you know as Honey, that girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is. Yes, we're all cousin. Right, you're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. What does that, that do? It catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can it won't work on the Krellman? Of course, most bees' jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, it means a lot. But choose carefully. Ugh. Ugh. This is hard. Because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species hadn't have one day, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you just worked up, work us to death. We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? Adam, how could you say that? One job forever. That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well around here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Dude, this bee movie script isn't really isn't entirely accurate. Ugh, whatever. Please clear the gate. We're on actor force on approach. Wait a second. Oh, dang it. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like to out like outside the hive. Yeah, but some of them don't come back. Hi, hey jocks, hi jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You guys just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, there's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees too, make too much of a deal out of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two, a couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be so dangerous being a j pollen jock. 
Yeah, once a bear had me pinned against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me across the face. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Obviously trying to alert the authorities. I can all got that if you want. Little Gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, Gusty, we're heading to some sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry. Puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going to... Oh, 900 at J-Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what O oh, nine hundred means. Hey, Hadex! Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Dad, do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab the stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more that I think about it, Maybe the honey field isn't, just isn't right for me. I need to think of, thinking of what? Make it balloon animals. That's a bad go job with the, for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you're so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see that the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Me, I'll piece, pierce my thorax, shave my antenna, shock up with the grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and start calling everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today is the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Paul and counting stunt be pouring stir, pouring stir, front desk hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. And one of them yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking the crowd out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. It's our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom sure attendance open. Not for, but for not the reason you think. Any chance of getting on the Kremlin? Sir? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry. The Kremlin just closed out. Wax monkey's always open. And the Kremlin just opened up again. What happened? A bee died, making an opening. See, he's dead. Another dead one. Dead, he dead. A fine. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. But that's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stop, be poor, stir, humming, specter, number seven, lint coordinator, strip supervisor, might wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should? Barry? Barry. All right, we've got the sunflower of catching corgent line. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out. Where? Out there. Oh, no. I have to go before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello. Another call coming in. You're crazy. If anyone's feeling great, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That get those. That gets the roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold us on. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. We had a rain advisory today, and as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful, as always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murph is in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder of you rookies, be law number one, absolutely no talking to humans. Alright, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow, hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, I bring it on. Wind, check. Antenna, check. Nectar pad, check. Wings, check. Singers, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Round, pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, I feel so fast and free. Box kite, wow, flowers. This is... This is Blue Leader. We have Rose's Vigil being around 30 degrees and hold. Rose's 30 degrees. Roger bringing it around. Sanchez is like kid. It just got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. You ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick some pollen over here, swoop it over here, maybe attach over there. A peach on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again. Are you reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was that was on the line. This is clueless. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. I like a flower, but I like it. 
Yeah, fuzzy, chemically. Careful, guys, it's a little grabby. My sweet order of bees. Candy brain, get off there. No problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You're a way out of position, rookie. Come at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because I believe you're going to eat it. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If he won't, if he don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spraying Granny. What are you doing? <sighs> wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday, mayday. Be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Ch check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out for sure. You see? Folds out. Oh no, more humans. Don't need this. Oh, what was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This Drapes! That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's your number one? Star Wars. Now nah, I don't go that for that pew 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 kind of stuff. No one, no one over should talk to them. They're out of their mind. When I leave a job interview, they're get, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I remember the sun having a big seventy five on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter at first, and I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill me. Don't kill him. No, that says don't kill him. You know, I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life has any have any less value than yours? Why does his life has any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying that all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's a little allergic thing. Put that on your resume br br brochure. That's not funny. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. You know, knocking someone out is also a special kill. Right, bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week you'll get it. Sure, can. You know, whatever. We could put carob chips on, on there. Bye. It's supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here it goes. Nah, what should I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a be law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no, do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's not good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. I, it was just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. I'm talking with a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful, and I'll leave now. Wait. How did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we'd have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Do you want no, do you, hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. Trying to lose a couple of micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making a tie in the cab and they're flying to Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up to the step to the church. The wedding is on. He says, watermelon. I thought he said watermelon. Why would I marry a watermelon? It's not a bee joke. That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So, what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know you feel. Sure, you do? Sure. My parents wanted to be a lawyer a do or a doctor, and I wanted to be a florist. Really, my only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a tail ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe you'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah, fine. I'm just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Are you? Can 
I take a piece of this with me? Sure, here, have a crumb. Thanks, yeah. All right, well, then I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Bear, and thank you so much, Ganker, before... Oh, that, that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. May as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you're with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? They look crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy things. They drive around real crazy. Did some of them try to kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back, poodle? You did. And I'm glad to see you saw what you never wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did. Will she be ish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? You know, I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing at all with the eight legs and all. I can't, but I can't get by that face. So who is she? She's human. No, no, that's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy, she's so nice. And she's a florist. Ugh, phlegm. I phlegm my throat. Ooh. Oh no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're, you're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s. That's one eighth of a stick of dynamite. She saved my life and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What is, what is that? They call it a crumb. It was so stingy and stripey. And that's not what they eat. That just falls up what they eat. You know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We are us. There's us. And there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have to got. You have to got. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry. I've got to start thinking B. How much longer will we, will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I got on a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything. All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I gotta go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl. Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's bee-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena to be in the tornado roses. That's every florist's dream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. All right. I got one. How come we don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Ugh. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. Well, all right, your turn. TiVo, you can just freeze like TV. You don't, we have TiVo. That's insane. You don't have that. We have HiVo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my. Dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We're not trying, we usually try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you really have to watch your temper. Yeah, very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, burn an angry letter, and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and shave? Circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? About like 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. Wow, you've really got that down to science. I've lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the my, in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? I would be cute bee. What does that say? ODB. I want to say cute bee. Cute bee. Golden blossom. Ray, Ray Liotta. Private select. See that actor? I never heard of him. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <sighs> okay. Why is this here? For people, we eat it. You have enough food of your own. Well, yes. How did you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. It's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stir. You need a whole crumb and thing. It's or it's organic. It's our organic. It's just honey berry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. We've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. It is on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. <sighs> Hey, Hector, you're almost done. 
almost. He's here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I know I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk, and now you're stopped talking. Where, is you, where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who is your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were all friends. The last thing I want to do is upset any of you bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. Ugh. Your sir rebuked lunch for my iguana, Ignacio. Where is this honey? Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? There is faces. They never know what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead. Do I look dead? Do I have anything that moves? Where are you headed? Tiny farms. I'm on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Who's blood? Blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. Alright. Uh oh. What is that? Oh no. A wiper. A triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on it. The only chance be. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cazell. Wait, Cazell? Cazell? I don't know how to say that. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You heard something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of honey jars as far as the eye could see. Wow, I assume that wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito. You in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack, smack. You see a mosquito? Smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moss. Dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh, my throat. My mouth. It's so dry. Listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's so dry. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Moose Blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, Moose Blood. I know I to catch you all down here. Did you bring your crazy saw? We throw it and draw a slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Check. Check out this, uh, the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you not want. The Thomas 3000 smoker. 90 puffs a minute, semi-automatic, twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple of breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey, we make the money. They make the honey, we make the money. Oh my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. You know you're in a fake hive with fake walls. Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. Is this your queen? That's a man in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey's being brazily stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything the bears have done to us. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you that humans are taking our honey? That's a, just a rumor. Do these look like rumor? That's a conspiracy theory. These are, are obviously doctored photos. Barry, how did you get mixed up in, in this? She's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend, and they make out. Make out, Barry. We do not. You wish you could. You side you on. The bees. I did a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, is this what you want to do with your life? I want to do I want to do this for all of our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right to they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year, year, and they put in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it is true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye, that would hurt. No, the, up the nose, that's a killer. There's only pl one place where you can sting the humans, one place where it really matters. Hive at five, the hive only four hour action news source. No more bee beards, no more bee beards. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk, weather with Storm Stinger, sports with Buzz Larry and Jeanette Chung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble, and I'm Jeanette Chung. Ah, Chad County B. Barry Benson intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night, on B. Larry King. We have three former queens in here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies. 
of this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm your kid from the hive? I can't do this. Larry, bees have been never been afraid to change the world. What about be a Columbus, be Gandhi, be Jesus? Where I'm from, we never see humans. We're thinking of, uh, of stickball or candy stars. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case. Which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name next week. It looks like you have a... Sh it looks like you and has a show in suspenders, suspenders and colored docks, dots next week. Classes, quotes on the bottom from the cast, even though you just heard them. Bear week. Next week. They're scary, hairy, and here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Right, please. Actual work going on here. Is that that same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you, Timberland. Size ten and a half. Vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's a yoga night. Bye-bye. Why is yoga night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one, I try not to use the competition, so why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, and it, take, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Best singers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake, thing, fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this can make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. We sure want to go through with it. Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan. With the world and I, and I anxious, anxiously waits for, because for the first time in his history, we'll hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. Ooh. What well, have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many times humans don't work during the day. You think these billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know, I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you always work on this. All right, it's Harmo, Judge Bubbleton presiding. All right, case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the Honey Industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, are you a you're representing the five food company companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're re representing all bees of the world. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on the farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in a topsy-turvy world, Mr. Benson imagines. Just think of what it would mean. I'd have to negotiate with the, with the sick silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking B, how do you know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser memes, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning, for all we know. He could be on steroids. Yes, he must. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it, and we protect it with our life. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking everything we have, but everything we are. We wish you just like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Clyde's clothes, Vander Hyden, a funny farm's big company you have. I suppose so. I also see you, I see you also on Honeyburn and Hunron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farm. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee for years, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees, not only die. It seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi bear, fuzzy bear, build a bear, I mean like this. Bears kill bees. 
How do you like his head crashing through your living room, breading onto your couch, spinning out your throw pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard that before? I was with a band called the police. But you've never been in a, a police officer of any kind, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have another example of bee culture costume being stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about a stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling pretty, a little stung. Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name. You idiots. Mr. Leota. First belated cr congratulations on your Emmy win for the guest spot in ER on, in 2005. Thank you, thank you. Laugh noise. I see from your resume you're, that you're devilishly handsome with a turning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? No, yeah, it isn't. But the, is this what has come to you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep so we can, and we could all go home? Order in this court. You're all thinking it. Order. Order, I say. Say, Mr. Leoto, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice for that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right re legally? I'm a florist. Right, well, here's to a great team, to a great team. Hello. Well, hello, Ken. Hello, I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go away, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There was a little left. I could heat it up. Oh. Yeah, heat it up, sure, whatever. I hear you. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a I find the ball a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right. There, Ken, Barry was looking at your resume and he agreed that with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crowd out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, Ken I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I'm just about had it with your little mind games. With that, Italian Vogue, Mamma Mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember one fan said, why is your life any more valuable than mine? Funny, I can't just seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. Well, how do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing, am I? Surf's up, dude. Ew, poo water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't need it. I'm going to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time. What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are only things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I felt, always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Barry B. Benson to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury. It's going to be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around to, is to remind them what, of what they don't like about these. You got the tweezers. Are you allergic? Don't to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B. And I'd to ask you what I think we'd all know. What exactly is your relationship with that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a, a bee documentary or two, from what I understand. Don't your queen, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah. So, so those aren't even your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? <sighs> You're used to announcing bees. Don't you all, the cousins? Objection. I'm gonna pin cushion this guy. Adam, don't do it. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I'm hit. Order, order. The 
venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I've been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, they can't. we can't treat them like ankles. They're striped savages. Seeing is the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. With an, what angel of mercy will come for to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I'll have order in this court. Order, order, please. The, in the case of the honeybees versus the human race. Took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stung late to T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah. I blew the I, I blew the whole case, didn't I? Doesn't matter. What matters is your life. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's still a little celery left on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. You have to lose right into this. What were you thinking? Look at us. Just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. Have they put roaches in motels? That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right, bees don't smoke. But bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. That's Adam, that's it. That's our case. It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. I'm assuming you've done step 29 correctly. You're ready for the time. Mr. Flamin. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Where's the rescue of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly hazardly. And as, as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about your honor. Don't having these ridiculous bugs taking up of this court's valuable time. How much longer will we be able to uh, we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They've presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal for this entire case. Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion, but you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is the proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? This? Is this harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at this, what happened. Do bees have, have, who have ever, never been asked smoking or non is this what nature intended for us to be forcibly addicted to the snow to smoke machines and man made wind slap work camps, leaving our slaves as honey leaving our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we gonna do? He's playing this species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees, free these bees, free these bees, free these bees, free the bees, free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I know you can do it. High five. Ow, sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means. All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy pers preservation of the balance of nature, Benson. You won't regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is the Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if McConaughey is right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What we demand is a settlement. First, we demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then, when we want to, we want back the honey that was ours to begin with, every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more stage name. No, wait, no, wrong thing. Uh, then a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We all around what they do in the woods. Look for my signal. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll be nauseous for a few hours, then he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate B negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage here. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health product, bogus health products, and la di da da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups, and there's a gallon more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey.
Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. We're shouting honey reduction. Mission abort. Aborting to aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah. What's going on? Where is everybody? Are are they out celebrating? Where's their home? They don't know what to do. Laying out. They're laying out, sleeping in. I hear Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least he got our way back, our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. I'm happy to hear. That is not the half of it. Oh no. Oh my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our old has it sat test. SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could just go, I'll just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partially my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I seen you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry, sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa. Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's Parade in Pasadena. They moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Wait, that's all I want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. Yeah, no, me neither. Turn over the roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. 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 But that's a... Roses? Berry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flower. Bees. Pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask them to slow down? Could you slow down? Berry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet with the flowers. I want to help you with your flower shop, but I made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. Oh, I thought maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea, and it's all greater than my all my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright, they have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee plant and flower bud in this park. Uh, all we gotta do is get what they got back here with what we got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Turn it of roses, Pasadena, California. They got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD, official for her business, Israel. Sorry, ma'am. Nice bro brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once we're inside, we just picked the right folk. How about the princess and the bee? I could be the princess, and you could be to pee. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? Where are you? I believe I'm the pee. It goes under the mattress. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting to the mar- I'm getting to the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is run in with the traffic without arousing suspicion. What's at the airport? There's no stopping us. Stop. Security. Move your instant. Pack your float. Yes. Has it been in your possession the whole time? Would you remove your shirt? Yes. Would you remove your shoes? Remove your singers. It's part of me. I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. And then if we're lucky, we'll have enough, just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll expect a spare. It's a couple of hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with this guy mall magazine? I like to order the talking inflatable nose and the ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What'd you say how? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain speaking. Would Miss Vanessa Bloom and 24 Bs please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There was, there was a dustbuster, a toupee, a life raft. Exploded. One's, no, one's bald. One's in a boat and they're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No! No one's flying the plane. 
This is JFK Control Tower Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Blue, a Marvel Flores from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious and so is the co pilot. Not good. Does anyone aboard have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Perry Benson. From the Honey Trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta as pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're heading to some lighting. This is Bob Battle Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK report. Where some suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson from fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry. He's attempted to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitating flight crew. Flowers. <sighs> we have a storm in the era and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm not familiar with Mr. Benson's and his no-account com no compadres. The have they done enough damage already? But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. The wings are too small. The body... Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area, the wings, and body mass don't makes no sense. Get this on air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way this the way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees, doing us a lot of small jobs. Well, let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, that makes a difference more than realized to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's not to be away. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Right, left, right, down. Hover, hover. Forget hover. This is so hard. Bibby, bibby. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we're on autopilot this whole time that may have been helping me and now we're not so it turns out i cannot fly a plane all right all of you let's get behind this fellow move out move out your only chance is to is if i do what i did you talking with the wings of the plane i don't you don't have to yell i'm not yelling we're in a lot of trouble <sighs> my mouth it's very hard to concentrate with that panning king voice Panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How's the plane flying? I don't know. Hello, Benson. I got got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen dogs. They do, but get behind a fellow, black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's get, let's drop this tin can on the black top. Rare, I can't see anything, can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a minute, I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong, pulling me like a 27 million year old insect. Bring your nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay, out, out the engines. We're going to, on V power. Ready, boys? How firm it is. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready, full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower, the other one. Which one? That flower, I mean, at the flower, there's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean, the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. My cuckoo could chew is this plane flying in an insect like pattern. Get your nose in there, don't be afraid to smell it. Full reverse, just drop it, be a part of it. Aim for the center, now drop it in, drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, you did it, you taught me how to fly. Yes, no high five, right. Where it worked, did you see that giant flower? What giant flower? Where, of course. I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey pollinate flowers, and just like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to... To be bees or just museum of natural history keychains. We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Except keychain. Hold on. Barry. Here. You earn this. Yeah. I'm a pollen jock. And it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah. That's our Barry. Mom. The bees are back. The buddy, the buddy needs to make a call. Now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help you snacks? Who, would you like some honey with that? It is. Be approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all mine. And I don't see it, Nickel. Sometimes I feel like a piece of meat.
I had no idea. Mary, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer, too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Mary, I got this huge tulip order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. Your life's never Barry. Can I help? Who's next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. Who's that pea? Is oh, that pea is living my life. Let it go, Ken. When is will this nightmare end? Let it all go. A beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was trying to get out of the office. Yeah, you gotta start thinking, B. Think you be, my friend. Thinking be me. Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm doing a major life decision during a production number. All right. Take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. Oh, oh, that's the whole thing. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, all right. Oh, let's just end it here. Bye.